it's, uh, I don't know, a very traumatic experience getting a phone call to say that your son's um, not coming home. And the wonderful thing about the Smart Memorial is it, it blends the, the aspect of a physical place to go and visit with stories using modern technology. It's like having um, a Facebook page for, for someone who's not here, um, just to keep their memory alive and anyone can access it. Uh, the Smart Memorial actually allows people remotely, overseas, interstate, somewhere else in Adelaide, away from the cemetery, to log on and pay their respects and leave a message to remember that person and reflect quietly and privately. All I have to do is just um, send them the link and then all they have to do is download the app and, um, and they can get access to his profile gives us comfort. Most of the time people just get forgotten. That's pretty sad. I mean, because I'm here quite often. Just makes us feel a bit better that we even think he's probably still here somewhere. And for many people, it is the reflecting and the remembering of a person and their own memories of that person, which the Smart Memorial allows a bit more of because it has the stories and the images when you're actually sitting at the grave site or the Ashes Memorial site. Yeah, I think this is just the beginning. If I can do this, I'm sure that there's going to be bigger and better things eventually.